Hey, it's Anthony Ramos from Glad. How are you? Uh, thank you. Uh, Tracy, I want to start with you. Uh, I want to talk about Lexi, played by the amazing Josie Toda. Tell me about, you know, your decision um, to have Lexi, who is this amazing character who just happens to be a trans woman. Um, tell me about you wanting to include that story into this reboot. Yeah, well, it started, um, it, it really started when I was coming up with characters for the show, you know, it was a little daunting to me thinking about like, okay, so I have to find six um, beautiful, hilarious, um, <laughs> undiscovered teenagers to come be on this television show. And that that sounded really hard. Um, and so, you know, I knew of Jo, I didn't know, know her, but I knew of Josie because she had been on my friend um, Mindy Kaling and Charlie Grandy's show, Champions. And I remember going to a table read for that and she was like so funny um, and, you know, and, and was the right age and stuff. So I kind of wrote the character for her just thinking about like, oh, what, what would be a really fun character to see her play? And, and what is a character I, you know, I, I kind of hadn't seen before. And, and Josie is a producer on the show and in conversations I've had with her, it, it was important to her that yes, she's trans, but like that not be the headline and that not be the story every week. It, it just happens to be um, one part of, uh, you know, this very hilarious character. Uh, Frank, I want to take, Frank, I want to talk to you. I think this new reboot, obviously, diversity seem diversity and inclusion um, seems like it's top priority for you. What, what, how, why was it so important to kind of show the kids from you know various backgrounds this time? Well, I, I mean, this is really sort of Tracy can speak to too, but that was sort of the conceit of the series is to not just. Um, revisit Bayside 30 years later. Um, but what is the story of Bayside now? And, and the story is more uh, contemporary in that like, you know, this Bayside can't survive the way it did and what happens when it has to face real life, you know? Yeah. Tracy, did you want to add anything to that? No, yeah. I mean, the one thing I'll say is like, I, I feel like it's on trend a little bit to, uh, to do uh, reboots uh, with a more inclusive cast. But like the one thing I do wanna say about the original is it wasn't just like a, just to give some props to Franco and the other producers, like it wasn't just a Lily White show of a bunch of white right. people in a high school. Like every, you know, every black girl on our staff was like, Lisa Turtle was like an icon and she was fashiony and she dated hot guys and it was so exciting to see her. And Mario too, like, uh, you know, it, the original show was uh, uh, inclusive for the time and, you know, and our, our show, I hope is even more so. Absolutely. And, you know, just thinking about um, with the storyline of Lexi and we see immediately that her, her peers really accept who she is from yeah. the very beginning. Um, and it's really not even a, a second thought for them to, so, you know, knowing that this is on, you know, potential to reach so many families, what do you hope that families and some new, you know, kids take away from, you know, seeing that kind of acceptance? Well, that, you know, that's what felt kind of exciting to me. I hadn't seen a trans, you know, and, and I'm not trans and, and I do not feel like it is, you know, it is my place to, write a show about being trans, certainly. But I, I had not seen, you know, there's so much more trans representation on television now, but I had not seen a trans character that um, is like this, that, you know, I feel like so much of it is on kind of like, you know, euphoria and, and uh, you know, and transparent and shows that like, you know, m my uncle has never seen, <laughs> felt like kind of, a cool opportunity in a mainstream kind of broad show that is really is hoping to appeal to multi-generations that families can watch together to see a beautiful, cool, confident trans girl who's ruling a school. Very nice to talk to you both. Uh, nice I love the show. You. I'm obviously glad is very excited. We've been involved with you. For oh, and please say, are you, do you know Nick? You know Nick? Of course. Uh, he's, yes. He was so wonderful and helpful to me. He was just a really nice guy. I, I, I talked to him a couple times and-, and He really loved you as well. So I'll, I'll definitely it. pass it along. Okay, thank you. Thank Great. you so much. Thanks a lot.